Hello and welcome back. By the way, so this is our third, the part three of the DF64P. So this morning, we actually installed the birds. Okay, we install, uh, we installed the bird like your bird is a black bird. Okay. okay. And then the second video was uh, we calibrate to zero point. And the between, and the I actually, uh, uh, I meant test. Guess what? Luckily, uh, it's for wipe, so which means the alignments are just fine. Okay, I was uh, worried about I have to shim it, but uh, I don't have to. So now this grinder is ready to go. So, having said that, so I'm going to so let's dial in. So I have this uh, light, medium to light roast from uh, my friends at Good Brothers Coffee. Here it's called Bricks Breaker. Very interesting tasting note though. I uh, juicy. Okay, there's a pretty good texture there. We got that cherry and grape. So this is very fruity. And should be good. Should be good. And I already measured out 18 gram. So let's see here. Let's see, I got the DF64P. It's all ready to go. Okay. And then what else? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be playing with some, you know, a couple of different coffee tours as well. So. You know, uh, so here's a plan, okay? So next couple of days, uh, maybe next uh, next week or so. So now once I got up, uh, so let's dial in this one, okay? And then let's get used to workflow. And after that, we are going to do some serious comparison. Okay. We have, so now we have uh, HE birds. Uh, P64 has the, the SSP high uniformity birds. I have two other DF64 here. I got MP birds, I got multi-purpose and cast birds. And also we have the, the gorilla gear, the black birds as well. And then also I do have uh, stock birds, okay? Uh, it's called uh, DF64E, the electric version. Uh, DF64E has the kind of like, they give you a screen, pretty much like, uh, think of it as uh, P, but has an electro uh, electronic screen on it. So that is, and I should be unboxing that next couple of days. Okay, here we go. So this is the DS64E, okay? Should be unboxing in the next few days. By the way, I'm gonna shout out to Joe from Espresso Outlet to uh, send us this, send me this to kind of like showcase on this channel. The, by the, uh, and also, this coffee machine, is that perfect? No, it's not, okay? The fact is that perfect like, you know, P64 over here, there's no comparison. But the DF64P feels somewhat, I say somewhat premium than regular DF64. Uh, I feel like the build quality is a little tighter than DF64, but, okay? Huge difference between DF64 versus DF64P. Uh, DF64P is espresso focused. Uh, the other hand, uh, DF64, just regular DF64, you can do espresso all the way up to French press. That's huge difference. So if you're planning on just playing on just drinking uh, espresso only, maybe like tricklet perhaps, uh, tricklet maybe AeroPress, you can get by with P, but beyond that, like a V60 type of prover, you're not going to be happy with it. So just make sure, you know, just make sure, think about that before you are planning on purchasing the F64P. Uh, this is only about 420 bucks. Okay, it's not that expensive. Comes to grinder, uh, compared to niche. Yeah, I mean it's a lot cheaper. So, and I highly encourage you to, if you're planning on buying something like this, especially DF, the DF models, uh, make sure, get the SSPs, okay? It's definitely worth spending a couple, uh, couple hundred dollars to upgrade your bird set. And also make sure have them set up for you as well. Have, have them set up the alignments, uh, especially this one, if you change the birds, you have to find the uh, uh, zero point as well, calibrate it. Just pay a few bucks and do it, okay? I mean, if not, you have to watch me, one of my video to figure it out for yourself. So, 
you know, so, so some people like to figure out themselves, but you know what, Mo, you know, most of us out there, I mean, I want something kind, uh, kind of like a turnkey, right? The turnkey options. Just get the box. I, I want to open it and start playing with it. All right, so enough introduction here. Uh, I got already got 18 grams, so I, I'm going to test a few things. I'm going to test the retention rate, and also, uh, what, what else are we going to test? Uh, I gotta, I'm trying to dial it in at two shots, okay? Hopefully I can, hopefully I, I'm going to try twice. So I set up my 0 0.5, okay? Uh, because, because, I, because I want the, you know, I set up 5, no reason. And so I'm going to start with grinder size, maybe number 30, uh, 35. Hold on a second here. I'm going to start with the 35 first. I'm just going to go start from the middle. And then do some dialing in. There we go. Okay, so my zero point is at uh, number 5 right now. So I'm just going to start with the number uh, 35 as my starting point for my this coffee right here. <clears throat> you know what, let's do direct dose. I'm going to be doing the direct dose from the coffee. Uh, if you guys like direct dosing, I think Joe is selling this like adapter. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Uh, hold on a second guys, second thought, if I do direct dose, I cannot, uh, you know, I cannot measure it, so, because I do want to check out the retention, yeah, I want to check out the retention here, what kind of retention are we going to get? <coughs> okay. Okay, shot number one. I got 17.8 gram. Hold on, let's make it a let's make it a 18. Man, by the way, this coffee beans, look at the size of it. This thing is huge. Okay, this is pretty big beans there. I got 18 gram going in right now. Okay, here we go. Pretty fluffy. Yep. The grind is pretty fluffy. Okay. I got 18 gram going in. Let's see. 18 gram going out. So, okay, so retention for first time wasn't too bad. I mean, right on the dot there. Okay. Let's do some little puck prep. I'm just going to play with this one I just got from Gnomecore. pretty good. I'm just going to do a quick distribution. Not necessary at this point because we already did it with the needle tools, but you know, I like doing this. Man, it is really fine. You see that the has space there. Okay, I'm going to use my puck screen on the top. Okay. 
Shot number one. <coughs> there we go, shot number one here. Lock it in. All right, let's take a look. Man, too fast. This is more like turbo shot here. Goodness, turbo shot there. I got 12 seconds at 47 gram. I mean, that is, especially this coffee, I think I have to go even finer. Okay. Right now, I'm at number 30 right now, 35. Uh, I'm thinking about going down to even like 25. 25, you know what, maybe 30. Maybe like 20, yeah, 28. That's 22. I'm sorry, maybe 27 maybe. Let's try that, maybe 27. Okay. I'm going to put the, this coffee to the side. We're going to try later. Okay, so we know this one does a pretty good job. Uh, comes to retention wise. This time I'm just gonna go on direct dose. I have an 18 gram ready to go here. <clears throat> Again, so we started at number 35 on the grinder size, and now we are go down to number uh, 27. Okay. Little noisy. Yeah, these beans are too large, so they're a little struggle right now. Yes, here we go. You know what, this time I'm just going to do manual WDT. Okay, I'm just going to do manual. The great thing about the manual, you can actually go all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Looks pretty clean there. Okay. Yeah, pretty fine. Grinder size. Okay. Let's see here. All right, the shot number two.
about 20 seconds, about 45 gram. You know what? I'm gonna do one more time. Okay, let, let's do one more. Okay, let's do one more there. Yeah, since we are dialing in this coffee and uh, also the, but we, uh, uh, fact is we haven't uh, seasoned the grinder yet. So this is pretty much new, brand new burrs with a brand new grinder. The, okay, by the way, the reason why I like to use a puck screen, this is why, okay? Getting the dry puck every single time make sure have a clean shower screen okay let's do one more so about what 18 19 seconds for 45 gram right now i'm at like 20 uh, 27 so i think i'm gonna go down even more okay the fact is we have plenty of space between so i'm not worried about the running out of room Maybe we're gonna go down to maybe like 22. Yeah. 22 there, about five clicks difference. So we're gonna do another. All right, here we go. Let's do another 18 grand. Okay. Man, this is really fine though. Goodness. So let's see. Shot number three. Maybe this time I'm gonna use the force temper here. I mean, you see the head space now. This is pretty fine. Okay, so this is really fine, but obviously we, do, we still have what? Let's see here. I set a five as my zero points. I got, I got, I got five, 10, 15 clicks. So we have to go down, so. That's why this is great for someone into espresso. Definitely not for filter coffee. Okay, shot number three. Hopefully this is it. Okay, so this is it. Man, it's choking. There we go. I got about 44 seconds and about 36 grams, so one to two ratio. Okay. 
All right. So, having said that, so my magic number should be around uh, right now at 22 right there. So maybe like 25 should be, yeah, we should be good. 25. I think we went too much, but uh, I'm going to try this coffee. I mean, we could do one more, but I think, yeah, I think we are close enough. So, so I'm going to try. Okay. I mean, again, that that one should be. I like to should be uh, between 25 and 30 seconds. So it's about 10 seconds. Hold on. Hopefully, gonna have. I'm hoping about, you know, too fine. Okay, but that's not the point. The okay, so this is a over extracted coffee. Let's try this cup here. Uh, cherry and grape is the main uh, tasting notes. Cheers. Man. Grapes, cherry, even though it's over extracted, fantastic. Okay. So this shot was uh, more like turf. This is like kind of like under extracted. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I can taste a lot of cherry right now, a lot more cherry. Man, cherry and grapes. Okay, so let's talk about this uh, DF64P. So this is uh, made for someone likes to enjoy espresso. That's it. Someone likes to enjoy espresso. Uh, if that's what you're looking for, definitely check out uh, Joe, okay? Joe uh, Espresso Outlet, he has Man, uh, I, I just checked out his website just now. Goodness. Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you what he got on his website. He got them all. Anything to do with the DF64, he got it. We got the SD40, he's selling for 260 We have an open box DF64 for 395 DF64 version 4 at 400. So this is the one, okay? I'm showcasing right now. 420 for the DF64P. So this is the version 4, okay? So this is the E. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be showcasing next few days. 400, so pretty much any, everything is under 400, uh, $500 there. So this is the new one that just came out, DF6483, okay, DF83. So this is the 80 millimeter. Man. So, I mean, if you guys are looking for uh, espresso capable, man, you know what, I have to say, uh, so far, I really enjoy the DF64. DF64, just plain DF64 has, you can, you, you can do espresso all day up to uh, French press. All right, all the way at the French press. So, but with this one, DF64P, uh, we talked about earlier, this is only good for espresso, maybe like AeroPress, but if you want to do something more, like V60 or French press, it's not the one. Okay, it's not the one grinder for you. So, um, comes to dialing in, you have plenty of, there are stepless grinders, so you have plenty of the kind of like room to go fine and finer. So that's not the problem. Um, so I, I just dialed in. Uh, so this is a, a light roast, more like medium to light, very hard to dial in. But you know what? It's no problem there. I'm gonna shout out to Aaron Coffiner. Hey, Aaron, uh, if you are listening, uh, 
Do you have time to join me on Instagram Live right after this? Uh, if you have time, just uh, uh, let me know in the live chat there. I'd like to talk to you about the Gorilla Gear because I know you just installed, okay? All right. Okay, so, yep. So hopefully he can, so um, I'd like to talk to you. So we have Coffee Nerds on live chat. He just installed on uh, uh, his uh, oats. You know what, oats are fine, yeah. Because I know you uh, prone the oats. So, oh yeah, I mean for you, that's not a problem for you. But I'm talking about the DF64P, okay, that model. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. I'm gonna see you guys on Instagram right now.